Hi Pisces, this is a general love reading for July 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And because it's general, it's not going to be everybody's situation, but you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading for which you can find all that information in the description box. Also, the roles can be reversed or interchangeable because it is a general reading. All right, so let's see what is going on with Pisces. First half of July, 2021, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, so for your situation, we have the hanged man crossed by the lovers. Okay, so there is definitely a deep connection here. Um, that seems to be at a standstill though. I feel like there's a lot of waiting involved or there has been a lot of waiting involved. Um, just a lot of being passive, possibly even just observing the situation from afar. Let's see the recent past. We have the ten. Uh, sorry, the two of wands. For the near future, we have the ace of pentacles. Again, a lot of um, waiting here. Possibly somebody just not taking action on on a connection where there is a lot of love, where there is a lot of strong emotions. I do see a new path opening up in the near future here with the ace of pentacles. Let's see. For your energy, we have the knight of pentacles. For them, we have Judgment. More about you. The Three of Pentacles. Let me move them down. For them, Death. And potential outcome here is Temperance. Okay. You're gradually moving forward towards something. There's something here that you are really um, aiming towards. And I feel like you're just taking small steps in a very stable way, though, in moving towards that. Now, whatever that is, I feel like it does involve um, something else or maybe it involves multiple situations. And it could be just a matter of really trying to make things work with multiple situations here. So it could be maybe um, trying to find a balance, you know, between work and this connection, for example. It, it could be anything. We'll see more when we clarify. For this person, they have two major arcana cards here. They have judgment as well as death, and not to mention that the um, situation here also is two major arcana cards. Okay, so that's actually a lot of transformation that is happening here for this other person, especially with judgment and death. So there could be that there is an ending here for this person. Um, and also after having major revelations, there could be a lot of decisions that are being made at the moment or just one very big decision. And it could be that that is marking the end of something here, all right? And then there's also the beginning of something else, all right, with judgment. Having temperance in the potential outcome here, this is a lot of healing, this is a lot of balance. It could be something that is taking some time, but we'll see. Let's clarify. Some of you might be dealing with a with a Gemini or with a Scorpio. Definitely does not have to be. Um, possibly also Sagittarius. Okay, let's clarify the hanged man with the lovers. Okay. The Ace of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Four of Cups. Yeah, so whoever this is, whoever it is that is just kind of standing still, not moving towards this um, lover's energy, they're feeling a little disappointed, I feel, in themselves. They're not feeling very happy at the moment. 
there's this there's this wanting to take action knowing what the truth is here knowing what it is that is authentic to their own self and even though there is some healing that is happening here during this uh, should i call it a pause some kind of a break um, some kind of waiting there is some healing that is happening here but at the same time this person is realizing that they're not very happy in the situation almost feeling like you know something is missing here something is missing and you know it's kind of like almost this essence of not being able to enjoy life at the moment um, it could be you it could be them we'll see Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for your energy. I'm also getting that, you know, one person is just more, um, it's almost like, you know, one person has made an offer possibly or is, you know, um, allowing the other person to know that this offer stands but then the other person is not taking action on it. And that is the person who is not very happy as well. All right, so clarifying the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Hierophant and we have the Star. Okay, so that's um, Taurus and Aquarius. Um, There's something here that you're moving towards. Again, it feels like it's very gradual. You're trying to really put the practical aspects um, into position in order to make this work because there's something that you really want. And I feel like maybe it is this connection. And you're trying to just figure things out. It's almost like really strategically and very cautiously moving towards this connection that you feel is also very, um, it's very deep. There's something very spiritual here. And I feel like in the process, as you're doing that, there's a lot that you are learning. There's a lot of higher learning here. All right, both with the Knight of Pentacles as well as the Hierophant. And this is also something, again, you really want this and I feel like you still have hope for this, for this connection to work out and you really want it to work out. Let me see the Three of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Oh, okay. So yeah, so there could be that there is, you know, just like I said, more than one situation going on here. It doesn't have to be a love situation, but I feel like you're really trying to make things work on multiple levels. That's what the problem is here. Um, if for some of you, it definitely could be another relationship or just another person or just some kind of a contract or some kind of a commitment here. But I feel like you're working towards actually... Um, bringing that to an end, but it's just feeling very difficult for you. This is not something that is easy. This is something that would also bring a lot of pain. And I feel like you're already feeling that pain. And for some of you, it could even be that you feel like this person is not even going to be available. And so you're feeling just like this, this dread, this dread that, you know, no matter how much effort you, you put into this, that you're just not going to be able to make it. I do see that you're trying though. You are taking those practical steps. Let's see what's going on with them. And again, you know, roles can be reversed. Okay, roles can be reversed. Let's see judgment. The king of swords and the three of pentacles. Yeah, you know, I feel like this person is very much aware or has just become aware, okay, of whatever that those other situations are in your life. Um, and yeah, it does feel like this person does not want to put up with that, with whatever that is. Like if there is a third energy that is creating an obstacle between the two of you or creating drama or creating conflict or creating a separation or just, you know, just in the way of things 
being able to fully manifest and to experience that lover's energy together, this person does not want to have to deal with that. And again, even for them, it's not something that is easy. I feel like, because we also have death here, this is why, you know, this you might be picking up on the fact that this person, you know, might not be available. And it doesn't mean that they're not. It's just that they're pretty determined right now. They're pretty determined to just put their foot down and not allow this to continue anymore because I feel like there's been a lot of waiting. And so this person is just really having a rebirth and um, trying to just pretty much, I the way it's coming through is kind of like get their life back. So I do feel like um, the roles are going to be reversed for a lot of you, but then again, you know, there are a lot of cross watchers. So just take the messages as they resonate. Let's clarify death. The Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, so this person, this is what they want to close out. This is what they want to end here is some kind of a commitment or the fact or the blocking out of a commitment. Like, you know, if this isn't happening, if somebody is not coming forward with, you know, 100%, they just want to end that cycle, their own cycle. I do feel like they are still open to this in a way um, because we also have judgment. We have the Ace of Pentacles here in the near future. But there's, there's this big ending that this person is feeling. This person is feeling like, yeah, you know, like this is just done. So I'm just, I don't want any more avoiding of the situation. I don't want any more resistance. Like this is just enough. Let me see the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Fool. <laughs> Why did, you know, this always happens, you know, the, the current energies just seem to be a little bit um, negative and then Bam, like near future and, and you get like these crazy positive cards. So the door is opening. Somebody is taking a leap of faith here. And again, I feel like this is you um, really just jumping forward, possibly picking up the speed here, right? From that Knight of Pentacles, just being like, you know what? Like I'm taking very gradual, small steps. Let me just take one big leap move myself ahead a little bit. I see that that's what you're doing towards love, all right? Towards love because you're tired of not enjoying life. Now, again, you know, because you're always in control of your future. This near future energy is something that you are capable of, but it's going to be up to you to actually do that and move in that direction. Move in the direction of, you know, what is it that you need to do in order to be able to enjoy life? in order to be able to enjoy love. So when it comes to these practical issues, I see you taking a bigger, a bigger step coming up. All right, let's see temperance. is for the potential outcome here for for the first half of July at least we have the nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups okay so there you are standing in your power um, finally you know just really finding that sense of self-worth within yourself um, really finding some independence of whatever 
it is that's going on here because I, like I said, I feel like there are other situations that are influencing you and I see you separating, being able to separate yourself from that. Again, it might take a little bit of time, okay, time is relevant, but this is all about you really following your intuition. And moving in the direction of being more self-reliant, of being just having the sense of self-worth from within, confidence, moving towards love, healing, and bringing balance into your life. Whatever it is that you're juggling at the moment, whatever all of these energies are that are influencing you. I feel it's all about realizing that, you know, certain things, you know, they might not be as, as scary in reality as they are in your mind. All right, Pisces. If this resonated, let's get your final oracle message. And please do give me a thumbs up. Again, roles can definitely be reversed. All right, and we have the full moon in Pisces. <laughs> there you go. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. And yeah, and this, I feel like that's very similar to what I was just explaining. Yes, you do need those practical steps, but then you also need to also follow your heart. All right, Pisces, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.